Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkverse. This week, Google have sneakily released to the public their custom AI, previously bored, now renamed Gemini. So I thought I'll check it out and give you guys a glimpse of what to expect. But before we even look at setting it up, for those of you not in the loop, if you guys want to grab any of my custom live wallpapers, just simply head over to the Epic Live Wallpaper app, where you can also make your own requests and boost up any that you guys want to see made next. It's about time we got a meaningful update to our Google Assistant. Now some of you might be lucky enough to find that Google's actually testing Gemini within your regions, so you could just hop over to the Play Store and find it directly there. Sadly, as for the rest of us, we're going to have to install it direct from a back alley vendor. Over here, stranger. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> I'll leave a link for the one that I used down below. Now just keep in mind, there is one major requirement. Your device has to be running Android 12 or above to actually get it working. Now once installed, you should see a brand new Gemini app icon on your home screens. Now right off the bat, Google give us a couple different ideas on how to utilize Gemini. So it's definitely well worth reading through these. But in essence, it's going to replace your existing Google Assistant and add a ton of ChatGPT features that we've seen before right into the Assistant itself. But don't worry, if you guys don't like it, you can always toggle back to the previous classic version of the Google Assistant right within your phone's Assistant settings itself. Now at the top, you got a few suggestions. The middle, the history of your requests. And right at the bottom, a couple different ways that you can actually interact with Gemini. You can type out requests, talk directly into it. How do you make the color green? Which surprisingly is quite accurate. And of course, load in images to add that extra level of detail. Now activating Gemini is as simple as saying, hey Google. And bam, here it is. The brand new interface replacing the Google Assistant. Then you can speak to it just as you would the normal assistant. But here, the responses are very human-like. Okay Google, explain photosynthesis to a 10 year old. Imagine plants as little food factories. And even when it comes to information, it's much more detailed than the classic assistant. Show me flights to Malaga. Honestly, it's pretty good and I do love the overall aesthetics as well. Apparently, it can generate images, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to be working for me. It could be because it's not officially supported where I am, but I guess you guys can all confirm that. So apparently what it can do is set alarms, timers, make calls, send messages, and of course the rest of the ChatGPT lineup. However, sadly, I don't know why this is, but it's unable to play my music. Interpreter mode apparently doesn't work. It also has issues with setting routines and reminders, which is pretty basic stuff. So if you guys rely on this quite heavily with the Google Assistant, after checking this one out, you might want to switch back. Now overall, in its current form, it's definitely a beta version. It does repeatedly refuse some basic requests, which can get quite annoying. And the speed of its responses, especially when compared to alternatives, is dramatically slow. However, it does grab from live sources, so just keep that in mind as you're playing around with it. But what do you guys think? Is this something that you'll check out? And what would you be using Gemini for? So if you guys like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to like and subscribe. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos? See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.